What is up everyone? It's Bruno here and you know I'm trying to do something new this year, something I've never done before and I'm going to be doing weekly recaps for BB Can 6. So I was just at the live taping for the very for the first eviction um, on BB Can 6. I just got back to Ottawa so this is why it's a little late but uh, I got to see it firsthand. I got to see everything kind of play out, hear what Rosina had to say uh, and it was a busy week. Uh, you know, Canada voted in their two players they wanted to see play from um, the Heaven and the Hell. There was on the Hell side, there was Kirsten and Mikey. And on the Heaven side, we had Marin and Veronica. So uh, we got to see them get voted in in the live audience. And I'll tell you something, it was really... Uh, hard to watch, you know, the two players that didn't get voted in. Just, you know, just the they you see them just at you know just such a raw moment. Um, and it, it was it was hard to see. It was hard to see them, you know, they're so close to get in the house, um, but yet so far. So it was hard to see, you know, Kirsten and um and Mikey uh you know walk down that aisle again, uh back to the backstage and just kind of you know they probably thinking like what just happened. Uh, and my heart goes out to them. You know, it's not easy, especially when you uh, have to get Canada to be on your side. Uh, you know, the way I see it is they actually had a really hard path to get on the show. Uh, not only does, you know, when you're applying for the show, you have to, you know, impress the producers and everything. But these people not only had to, produce, uh, to impress the producers uh, so much, they actually had to go on top of that and impress Canada. So they really had their hands full um, on their path to the show. So my heart does go out for them, uh, goes out to them, and I wish them all the best. Um, but hey, let's move on and let's talk about the week. So week one. All right, so Andrew goes in um, and he gets, so everyone moves into the house, everything seems happy, everyone's fine, everyone's hugging, everyone's happy. But in reality, people are sizing each other up. You can kind of see them sizing each other up a little bit, putting a smile on their face. So everyone goes in and there's some goblets or cups or whatever on the table. So Maddie grabs two cups and hands one to Andrew. She has no idea what she just did, but she literally set the pace for the season and the first week and everything that's about to happen. And all she did was just grab a cup, try to just, you know, a nice little gesture. Here you go. Here's a drink. And it set the pace. So um, what it does is Andrew gets this cup or this goblet and it actually comes with a twist. So the twist is Andrew has to go into the diary room. He gets called into the diary room and he has to send seven people to hell. And uh, the other seven people are in heaven. The seven people that he sends to hell are actually have nots or they don't have any of their belongings and all that. And they're going to compete for that HOH. Now, one of these seven people are actually going to go home. And one of these seven people is going to be HOH. Everybody in heaven is safe for the week. There's no way they can go home. And they're laughing about all this because, hey, they're safe. They don't care. They don't really know anybody right now. So who really cares who goes home? Because in reality, they don't know who any of these people are. And it's just an easy week for them. So lucky for them. Good on them. Andrew does pick all females. He picks Will and he picks Johnny. So, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed. It really doesn't go unnoticed. And I think that's going to bite him in the end. And I think it's going to make him uh, enemy number one. Because here's the thing. And, you know, I kind of feel bad because his hand was kind of played for him. Because he immediately had to put up seven people. That's half the house right off the bat that he had to say, hey, I don't care about you guys. You know, he was put in a really, really bad spot. So right off the bat, night one, not even night one, it's like, you know, a few hours in or whatever it is, he has to go and do this. So I, my heart goes out to the guy because it really puts him in a bad, bad, bad spot. Or you could look at it as it puts him in a good spot with the seven other people. But in reality, uh, he's just pissed off half, half the house um, one of these people has to go home and it's, you know, one of these people is going to be HOH and it's just the easy option to say, Hey, I can get this guy out. He didn't care for me. Why should I care for him? So anyway, he puts up those people. They have a veto competition. Um, and then they have the HOH competition. So Johnny actually wins HOH. Um, Paris tries to, you know, strike a deal with them. William tries to strike a deal with them and he's saying, no, I don't want to owe these people anything. Man, what are you doing, buddy? This is night one. Take the deal. You know, make a friend. These people are reaching out. This is your chance to make a friend. They're saying, hey, keep us safe. We're not going to come for you. Don't come for us. We're giving you HOH. Have it. And he's going, no, I don't want to. I don't want to owe them anything. Buddy, take the deal, man. They're giving it to you. They're giving you that branch. They're reaching out saying, hey, man, you know, let's work together. I kind of want to work with you. I'll give it to you. I'm trusting you kind of deal. 
And, you know, he just said no, which made no sense because he won it anyway. He didn't even put them up at all. So what are you doing? You're just showing that you don't trust them. And it's just kind of sketchy. So I think he should have taken the deal. Um, that, I think, was his, his big mistake. So Johnny, so Johnny goes and he puts up Alejandra and he puts up Rosita. Now, here's the thing, man. I get it, you know. Big brother, especially the first week, you don't want to cause too many waves. You don't want to ruffle too many feathers. Um... And all that. So, you know, and it is the older lady. You do put up the older house because that's just that's just how it works. It's not right. It's not the way the game should be played, but it's the easy way out. And that's the problem. So he does put up Rosita and Alejandra because Alejandra was the first to go, he says, because Rosina was uh, cheering on Paris. Whatever his excuses are, that's fine. So he puts them up on the block and they go to play Vito. Um, now, here's the thing, okay? So Johnny goes and wins the Vito. What are you doing, buddy? You've just won 100% of the competitions in the first week. So there's two competitions. You won both of them. You're showing these people that, hey, I'm no pushover. I'm no joke. I can compete. I can play. And you're just putting a bigger target on yourself in the future weeks. So I think he's just overplaying. He's playing too hard, too fast. And, uh, you know, let's just hope he gets the right person out this week, right? Because, uh, you know, you're making all these moves. Let's not waste your HOH. Well, Guess what? You fast forward to eviction night. Now, here's the thing, okay? The house just, in my opinion, made a, made a huge mistake. Rosina even says it. She says, hey, guys, I can't compete. I can't do anything. Use me as a number, which is the right answer. She literally gave the right answer. Use her as a number. Get in her good books. She's not going to beat you in any competitions. You know, she says she wants to cook and clean for you. Hey, let her stay because she is not a threat. If you can just, you know, take her in and just treat her as another, like any other person and, you know, use her as a number and get in her good books you know she's going to be a valuable 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 asset to have you know and a tool in your toolbox but instead the house goes and uh, votes her out why are you voting her out alejandra comes out and says hey i'm gonna crush you guys i'm a competitor i'm this i'm here to play and then you have rosita saying hey look at me i can't do anything i can't beat you guys and what do they do they keep the competitor in the house what are you doing so uh, i think the house got it wrong uh, and a couple of notes I want to uh, say about that too is you see Hamza kind of in the show uh, saying, you know, let's get her, let's keep her and this and that. No, nothing against the guy. I just think he's, uh, I think he's going to be, he gets, he gets the game in a fact that the diary room is the, you know, there's a narrator in the diary room and I think he gets it. Uh, you know, you see him kind of talking a little bit to people, but I think his mouth is going to get him in a lot of trouble. I think he's going to open his mouth uh, to the wrong people, uh, maybe give a little bit too much information. You see him talking to Derek in the, in the, in the show. There's no feeds the first week, so we really don't know how hard he pushed. That could have been maybe the only conversation he had and they just got that footage. He could have been pushing all week for all we know. We have no idea. But in the diary room, he's kind of saying, oh, yeah, we got to flip this vote. We got to flip this vote. And the vote comes and it's 11 to 0. And then you hear him kind of complaining about, oh, you know, it's 11 to 0. Hey, man, you voted for her, too. You can't really complain. Uh, I get it. You know, you want to stay with the house. But if you're the one out there uh, trying to fight for her to stay, people already know you want her to stay. So what's the difference? Throw her the vote. Who cares? No one's going to really hold that against you. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think I think the house made a, a little bit of a mistake or actually a really, really big mistake uh, this week in getting rid of Rosita. They should have used her as a weapon, you know, weaponizer. Uh, she says she wants to cook. Guys, that's key. Um, she can't win any competitions. Guys, that's key again. So that's someone you want to see their name being pulled in a veto and all that stuff because that's just one less person you got to kind of worry to beat uh, and all that. Use her as a weapon. So I think the I think the week uh, you know kind of goes as planned uh, you know as far as the show like the viewers go and and you know she's the obvious pick but as a as a game perspective and as a player it was it's the wrong move it, it is the wrong move ten out of ten times you don't get those people out right away this is your chance to get a big player out right off the bat someone you'll never have to worry about ever for the rest of the game before they get too deep into into social situations uh, before they they get their momentum going they get comfortable. In in the game they start understanding things everyone's green everyone's a rookie in week one everyone's on that same page where they don't know what's to come they don't know how to interact with people yet they don't know the little tricks they're not picking things up they're not learning 
but every day that goes on in that house, these people are getting smarter, they're getting more comfortable, and they're gaining more experience um, in the house and in the scenarios and in the situation. So the longer you keep these people in, that they're adapting and they're learning, they're saying, okay, this is how I got to play, this is who I got to talk to, and all that stuff, you're just giving them more ammo. So I think someone like Rosita should have stayed, and it's just a shame that uh, it went that way. She's a sweetheart, met her family, they're great, great people. Um, can't wait to meet her. So, uh, you know, week one was pretty much um, very clear how it all is going to play out and everything. So it's not too crazy as far as, you know, much to talk about. Very straightforward week. Rosita goes on the block. Uh, Rosita goes home. So now we're going to talk about the two uh, people that got voted into the house. So you have uh, Marin and Veronica. Veronica is another girl from Ottawa. Now we have two players from Ottawa. What's up, Ottawa? Uh, in the house this year. Okay, so they have uh, maybe like 15, 20 minutes or so to kind of uh, come up with a plan um, to say how they get voted into the house or how they got into the house, but they're not allowed to tell Canada that it was a Canada's vote. Now, here's the thing, okay? These people are, a lot of them are super fans in the show. They're gonna cat, they know it's a lie. They know something's up. They know it's a twist. Uh, Big Brother kind of screws them over a little bit in this, I'm gonna say, but it depends how you look at it. You know, these people have seen this before. People come in week two. Two people come, actually, literally, it's season four all over again. The only difference is these people haven't played before. So it's the same thing. It's a Canada vote. Two people go into week two. They're safe for the week. And uh, they have to come up with a story as why they're coming in late. Uh, you know, season two with Allison, similar thing, but a little bit different. Uh, anyway, so they're kind of put in a bad spot. They have maybe 15 minutes to come up with a lie. They don't know each other. They have no idea who each other are and they got to work together right off the bat, come up with a story that they can keep straight and go in the house and go with it. And I believe their story was something along the lines that they were pulled out of the crowd. They did some draw on their Facebook page, on the, on the Big Brother Facebook page. They got picked to come to the audience. They got pulled out of the audience. Guys, horrible lie. Horrible lie. Horrible, horrible lie. Uh, man, these people are fans. They know the process. They know what it takes to get in. They're not just going to pluck some random person out of the crowd and say, hey, come on down without doing psych tests and all the, the back behind the scenes stuff that goes on before you get on the show. They're not going to do that. And these people know that because they've been through the process. So why would you tell them something as crazy as that when these people know what they've already just literally gone through the last few weeks to get on the show or months or whatever it is? So guys, bad lie. Who knows how it's going to play out. Anyway, my personal opinion on these guys, I think Marin is uh, great. I, I really, really, really like Marin. I think he's going to do very well. I hope he fits in well. He seems very charming, likable, and I really, really hope he goes far. Veronica seems very fun-loving, outgoing, very loud and outgoing. Can it work against her? Absolutely. Uh, can it work for her? Absolutely. Just depends on how the house catches on. Uh, to her personality. I think she's going to get along with with a lot of the guys for sure. I think they're going to like her. They're going to want to work with her. The girls, who knows? Uh, she, you know, and it's not a bad thing. She's just a little different than the norm, which isn't a bad thing. I'm, uh, you know, it's not nothing like that. But you can tell the, the so, you know, way certain girls are and, and, and she's a little, she's different and it's not a bad thing at all. Uh, it just depends uh, how she gets along with girls and all that stuff. But I think she's going to fit in very well with the guys um, and all that. So that being said, I think their lie is going to eventually maybe catch up to them. People aren't going to trust them. Uh, hopefully they can bounce back from it and hopefully they can come up with a story to say, hey guys, listen, you get the process. Maybe we're not telling the truth, but maybe we can't tell you the truth. Just put it this way. We're in the house and just face it. We're players now. Who cares how we got in here? We're all here now. Let's just play. And hopefully they can kind of get away with it somehow. So actually that being said, maybe write a comment below on how you would have played that situation. Say you're the person that just gets voted into the house what would you have done to kind of take that heat off of you and the target off of you and kind of just be like yeah don't worry about me guys i'm just here to play uh move on you know kind of thing so um it'd be interesting to see how different people would do it in that situation so yeah definitely write those in the comments below i'd love to hear them and read what you would do in that situation so that's pretty much week one uh like i said rosita goes out by a vote of 11 to 0 uh, hamza supposedly tries to flip it doesn't work. I mean, he had the right idea. Yes, keep Rosita in. He had the right idea, but who knows how hard he did it? We have no idea. There was no feeds. Maybe he pushed all week. Maybe he didn't push at all. Who knows? Um, so it didn't work. Rosita goes home 11 to 1. Uh, Marin and Veronica get voted in. Both, actually, both Heaven uh, characters, by the way, uh, which was kind of interesting. I thought maybe uh, they would probably end up being one and one, you know, one from Heaven, one from Hell. But no, it ended up being both from Heaven. Maybe it's a sign of what Canada likes or what Canada, uh, you know, just represents Canada. Who knows? But uh, yeah, so both players from Heaven went in. 
And uh, you know what? I think they're going to be a good addition to the cast. I think all four of them actually would have been a great addition to the cast. It's too bad all four of them couldn't go in because they all had something to bring to the table. But hey, it's Big Brother. That's how it goes. So close yet so far. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to meeting and talking to them too. So, yeah, that's pretty much week one, guys. You know, a lot did happen, but it was all pretty much straightforward. And, and, and to me, it, it seemed very obvious of how the course was going to go um, as soon as someone like Rosita hit the block. You know, she's the easy out. Wrong move, wrong move, but easy out. So that's week one, guys. Um, I did go to the live taping. It was fantastic. The energy was great. The crowd was great. Alyssa, Arissa looked amazing, uh, like always. And just the whole production team is amazing. Everything was fantastic. Um, I'm looking forward to going to a few more tapings, hopefully this year. Uh, maybe I'll see some of you guys there. Come say hi, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm always down to talk big brother. So, you know, if you like uh, the recaps or whatever, hit that sub button, hit that like button. I'll be planning on doing these every week. Maybe I'll even bring someone here with me and we'll chat together. Uh, you know, it's just something new I'm trying. And uh, let's just see how it goes. But I just want to thank you all for all the support you've given me through my last uh, videos. And you guys have been so great. Uh, so much positive feedback and everything. You guys are amazing. And I really, I see you all. I hear you all. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and you know what? Let's have a good season, guys. I think, I think this um, cast has a really, really good chance of bringing some good TV. And uh, let's just see how it goes. So I think they're going to be a very, very good cast. I can't wait to talk to me to everybody. And um, you know what? Let's, let's make this winter pretty good. So guys, uh, thank you again very much. Hit that sub button. And you'll see me soon. Take care. See you.